Santa Clara County's district attorney has charged two suspected drug dealers with murder for allegedly providing the drugs that ultimately killed a San Jose toddler. Devin Feely was at the courthouse today and joins us with details on this. This story is so disturbing. I mean, just looking at that poor baby's photo is just, it's hard to look at. Yeah, absolutely heartbreaking. And to charge a case like this as a murder case is very rare. It's virtually unprecedented. But the district attorney's office says it speaks to the dangers to which this little child was exposed and to the reckless disregard for her safety and well-being. I just want to emphasize how dangerous fentanyl is. We expect adults to take care of children. Prosecutors say baby Winter never had a chance. In fact, investigators say she had enough fentanyl and methamphetamine in her little body to have killed 25 children, let alone one. That's really just the medical cause. Truly, the cause of death is the deliberate, dangerous, reckless actions of these four individuals. Philip Ortega and Paige Vitelli appeared in a Santa Clara County courtroom today to be arraigned on murder charges. The district attorney's office says they plan to prosecute them alongside Baby Winter's parents, who've also been charged with murder. Investigators say the four adults live together in this San Jose neighborhood. They allege that Ortega and Vitelli provided the drugs, which investigators say were left littering their condo and within easy reach of the 18-month-old. They showed a conscious disregard for human life, and that's why we've charged them with murder. Prosecutors say the four knew the drugs that they were using were dangerous and potentially deadly, but did little, if anything, to shield the 18-month-old from the consequences of their addiction. These individuals knew how dangerous fentanyl was, knew that it was lethal to themselves as users, but also knew that it was lethal for others to be around fentanyl, knew it was lethal for a child to be around fentanyl. The district attorney's office says their next move is to merge these two separate cases as one because they're going to pursue all four of them as a single case. Yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out, obviously, because there's a question of precedent and how other cases like this are handled in the future. Just so sad for that poor little baby and, and their remaining family members. Devin, thank you.